Okay. Well, I'm going to take a look at this picture and see what we have here. So, ta-da, the tension rises. Now we, whoa, I can throw that down. Okay, well, it's, uh, it's totally not what I expected, but that's good. Um, well, it does evoke for me the notion of, 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 uh, uh, of space in many ways. When I, it, it, if I were to look at it and you'd ask me what it, what it corresponds to, I'd say in some sense, uh, um, it does. It is reminiscent of looking out at the universe. Um, I, I, I can imagine that I'm seeing galaxies in the midst of some continuous kind of uh, structure, which is rather, actually rather interesting. Because in, in, in I don't know if the artist meant this, but um, the uh, it, it, interestingly enough, when we actually try and create large-scale structure pictures of the universe on computers. We find that there are filaments of of, of structure, uh, filaments of dark matter which you can't actually see, which remind me of these filaments around which galaxies emerge, and in fact the light and the galaxies uh, are, is, are 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 interspersed throughout these filaments, very similarly to what's placed here. So I don't know if it was intentional, but there's a lot of um, uh, 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 connection and a positive connection between what this picture displays and, and many ideas we have in, uh, of, uh, of the universe. Um, I like the colors in it too, I have to admit. Um, it has a nice, uh, in fact, I'm trying to figure out exactly uh, the background seems to, maybe it's just because of the light in this room, uh, the colors are, are, are subtle and changing and I, I kind of like that as well. Um, for me, um, it's uh, Yeah, it's funny because even if we weren't doing it in this context, I think I would uh, guess it was an astronomical image of some sort. And I think that's beautiful. And, and I even like the fact that there's sort of darkness in here. To me, it, it evokes everything I think about the universe, a dark background of dark energy, filaments of dark matter, and galaxies of matter interspersed throughout them in a, in a, in a large universe that, we, that we, uh, we're still trying to understand. A universe that's clearly not created for us, but one in which we're fortunate enough to see things. So, uh, um, those are my initial comments. I, uh, um, it's something I have to say, and I think this is true. Uh, I, I'm, I'm, I happen to like art, and I have a lot of art, much more art than I can afford, actually. But uh, I think this is definitely an image I would put up on a wall, and I'm very particular about that. Uh, and uh, I've, so I find it intellectually satisfying because of the connection to the things I think about and artistically satisfying because I enjoy the, the, the merging of color and, and form. But I'd like to know more about the origin of the piece, um, if it's possible, and maybe whether I'm totally misinterpreting what the artist intended or not. Um, it's, it's fascinating. Often when I write books, uh, I find that people think tell me all the things that they read that I intended that I really didn't intend. And it's probably true for an artist that people read into their work much more than they imagine. For all I know, he may have just said, I feel like drawing blue squiggles and, and black splotches, but, but, uh, but, um, and that's fine for me too. But uh, it just, maybe within the context of this moment in my office, it certainly evokes the kinds of things I think about. But I wouldn't mind knowing a little bit more about the background of it. It's also true, one of my favorite quotes is, uh, the only tool you have is a hammer, everything looks like a nail. And I imagine what you'll find is that what people get out of it is really a strongly dependent upon where their background is and where they're coming from. Obviously, my response was clearly came from what I would th was, I've been thinking about lately in science. And I think that's one of the beauties of art, is that, is that it's a personal response and that it, it evokes, it, it encourages you to reflect on things that you're already thinking about and sometimes expand upon it. I mean, it's the virtue of all art, literature, and science, is it provokes our imagination. And if it, can, if it can cause you to rethink things and see the universe that you've been thinking about in a slightly different way, then it succeeded. Actually, this was enjoyable for me. I, I didn't know what to expect. And I would have hated to hate it. Um, it would, I could, was fully expecting I might, or to find it completely um, misrepresentative of something. But I mean, obviously, it's abstract, so it's, so it's pleasant in that way anyway. But uh, uh, but it's, uh, it was a pleasant surprise.
And I'm one of the things about me is you would have heard about it if I hated it. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I, I try to, I try to be blunt about my views, and it gets me into trouble many times. But uh, it's great. I really look forward to hearing the the locus, the the set of different reactions to this, and uh, I hope I look forward to seeing the final project. I think art is universal in a sense, but it's it's it's. Uh, it's universal in the sense that everyone interprets it in terms of where they're coming from. They don't need to, unlike science, you don't necessarily need to have the language of mathematics. But of course, to really properly understand it, like many things, I mean, art is appreciable on many levels, just like music. Just an immediate gut appreciation, whether you like it or not, then the more you know about the way things are created, the more you can appreciate it. And so, But I argue in some sense that's like science, that, that, that science can be appreciated on gut level. You don't have to understand the mathematics always. You know, the more you the more you understand, the more you appreciate. I think, but uh, um, uh, I uh, it'd be interesting to know what people on another galaxy would think about it. <laughs> we won't find that out in our lifetime, I expect, and uh, that's fine. Mysteries are wonderful. It's 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 mysteries are what keep us going in science, and uh, uh, it's part of what makes it fun. It's the questions that are more interesting than the answers, usually. So, well, the answers are unexpected, which probably is what makes them interesting, and they, and they prompt more questions, and that's why science is, uh, is worth continuing to do in my mind, and uh, that's why I continue to do it at least anyway. I, um, I wish I had something more profound or lengthy to say, but I think that's about it. <laughs>